Hi, I'm Robin Malone everyone. As you can see behind me, I started doing the kitchen, start modernising it. I took the tiles off the walls at the morph and uh, realised that there was a video in here for you because uh, things like this plug where the tiles went behind and the screw through, I had to remove it and get the tiles out and put it back now and I kind of realised there's a video there, so <laughs> I've decided to do one for you. It's how I remove tiles, uh, what tools I use, and how to do with the plug sockets and light switches when you've got tiles behind you, you've got to put them back. So I've got another wall to do, so I'll chop you over to that wall now. So as you can see, there's one that I've already done. I've hacked the tiles off, you can see, and uh, took the front off there, virtually right off, and got the tile out underneath and screwed it back in. So. I've done that wall, so we're going to now move around. This is the wall I'm about to take the tiles off from. Uh, and as you can see there, there's a light switch there, which the tiles are going underneath. And also there's a surface mounting plug here. Uh, again, you know, it, the tiles are behind there, so we've got to take that off uh, and safely do it. So, all right, before we do any of that, obviously power off, guys. <laughs> power off first before we touch any plugs okay that's a must um, another little thing I like to do if there's any mastic or sealant down here or indeed any up at the cupboard end at the top um, get it cut through with a Stanley knife I use a Stanley knife like this and just just kind of chop it through right through like that uh, just so that when the tiles do come away they'll come away cleanly right once you are satisfied the power is off we'll just undo the screws at the front here this is a surface mount one. This one's got to come, the front of this one's got to come right off because the screws for this plug are screwed through the back plate and they go into the tile. So we've got to kind of loosen those off so we can get our tile removed. So we've got to take the front right off. And as I say, make sure power is right off, guys. Or if you've got a circuit breaker for the ring main, and you know what it is, make sure that that is off all right there's that one same with the top one here now get the light switch now this one you can just leave loose if the tiles come away okay if not take it right away again so make sure power's off okay take it away Okay, make sure you've got the right screws, long ones for that light switch, short ones for the little plug. Not safely away. We now know that our tiles behind there, we can knock these off. So before then, we're going to undo this one. Now this one has obviously some screws down there. There's one down the bottom there and there's one at the top. So we're going to undo those next. We'll get these off. Because this is a back mounted one, this is a rear plate, it's got to come right off. If it's a flush mount one, um, like on the other side, I should have filmed you that one before I took it off, but I just thought all of it. Um, obviously, like the switch, you don't need to take it right out if you don't want to, uh, but I prefer to because there's a little bit more lee room. And just leave it hanging. Safe. And there we are, that one is now completely off, and you can now see behind the back there couple of plugs that fixed it and we're now clear to start knocking them off. We'll move to that next. Right well there's lots of tools that different people like to use. I like the good old bolster for getting tiles off. Nice sharp one, get down behind the back of the tile and knock it off. Uh, that obviously I like I like to wear gloves, it seems to make the hammering easier and obviously a must are these. Eye goggles, absolutely got to have these alright. Don't go knocking tiles without, if you get a sharp piece of tile in your eye, I promise you, you will never want to not wear these again. It's happened to me years and years ago, back in the early days, and ever since, always wear these goggles. Right, got that? Safety done. Let's move on. Okay then, so we'll make a jolly old start. All right, start at the end here, and let's whack the first. Away we go. We'll go for the one behind the back of this plug now. Come away. Easily. Silver ones. 
of coal there that could easily go in your arm. Hi, <laughs> your arm, your eye. <laughs> so, to wear goggles. You can see this one has been tied up around the cupboard, which is going to be a bit of a There you go, that's always the way. There's our rug of loose. Let's get this one off. There they are, all off. What a lovely mess it always leaves, isn't it? <laughs> Terrible job. Hate taking off tiles. Got to be done. Well, as you can see, we're all cleaned up now. And obviously the plugs are sticking out of the wall a bit because they was up to the tile um, because they had the tile to go through. Now most builders always drill the holes a little bit too deep so there's usually room just to tap them a little bit further into the wall like so. That's it. The same with the bottom one. If uh, by a unlucky chance they won't go in any further uh, then I'm afraid you're going to have to pull them out and drill the holes a little bit deeper with a drill. But usually, nine times out of ten, you can do that. Because for now, I'm guessing you're the same. We want to put this lot back so that we can still use it um, while we wait to either A, have new tiles put back on the wall, um, or B, not at all, but and paint it. But you still want to take it off again uh, to repaint it or decorate it or replaster it or whatever you have in mind. So now we're down to just replacing our switch back on the wall. Just line the screws up with the holes. And we'll see them through there. Get them started. And hold one in place, that end. Right, then we'll line up the front plates. Get those in. Again, best to kind of get them started before we're going too far and screw them in. Not like this little screwdriver sits in the slots nicely. Moving on now to our light switch, same kind of thing again. Line the holes up. We'll see them by the way in there. You can see the little screw slots that have got to go in. Line them up and get them started. One last thing with the light switch screws, um, now that it's going back further to the wall, you may find these might be a tad long, so you may need to get shorter ones if the switch doesn't go right back to the wall. Okay, if you're putting tiles back, it doesn't matter. Leave the gap because it doesn't matter if you're the right distance, but if you're not putting tiles back, there is a possibility these may be too long, in which case you'll need short ones, unless you're pretty dexterous with a junior axe or want to cut a bit off the ends. But I know that these ones are going to be all right. Okay, so we're starting now, we'll tighten them up. As you can see there's a gap round there, but that's all going to be replastered here. We're going to replaster the base. It's got to come off again, so just bear in mind, it is just temporary for now, because obviously you're going to want to do something with this wall. <laughs> I know I will be, that's why the tiles are off. So don't worry about any gaps or things like that, it's going to be filled afterwards or tiled over if that's what you're going to be doing. But basically, we're virtually there. Tickety boo for now, that'll do. We're nice and tight, it's not going to go anywhere, so at least we can use it for now. A little bit more play there, give it a little bit more. That's it. Well. There you are, that was just a, a little tip from me, how I take my plugs and sockets off and put them back on when I'm tiling. <laughs> uh, I kind of got halfway through the job and realised this, this might make a video for you guys out there if you've got this job coming up. We've all got it sometime, aren't we? Retiling or taking the damn things off, that's the worst part, isn't it? Anyway, that's just a little tip from me I've learned over the years. I'm sure you've all got your own ways of doing these things, I'm sure as many builders out there would probably do it another way, uh, but that just happens to be my particular way I do it. Uh, anyway, that's it from me. All of my usual stuff, you know where to go, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.